Hi everyone, it's Edward from Twitty and Company with a Beach Report. It's Sunday the 26th. Uh, I didn't come to you Friday just because I had talked to you all on Thursday and I, I don't want to overwhelm you with my presence. And uh, you know, as, as things progress, we don't always have a lot of new information to share. This Beach Report is going to be a little bit different though because I just had a day off today. It's, it's been great. I started the morning with a, a six and a half mile out and back hike up in False Cape State Park with Dolly the dog. And it's just been a beautiful day here in Kerala and Corova Beach all over the four x four area. But a couple things got me thinking this weekend. Yesterday I got a flat tire on a dreary cloudy day. Um, and before I even got the spare tire down, a friend of mine had stopped and a local sheriff's deputy had stopped. And, and like a pit crew were just getting my flat tire off before I had a chance to get the spare down. And then today, there's a couple that lives in Corova Beach that decided for free just to make pizzas for all the residents of this area. I don't know, I mean, they had to make over a hundred pizzas and they wouldn't accept money or anything like that. And so often on social media, uh, we might see that just the news or, or some negativity. And I want to, I want to make a personal post today just about this pizza because it was such an amazing experience to see. Um, and I was going to hashtag it, you know, the whole hashtag on Instagram and other forms of social media, just like, you know, but you can't really say we are Corova beach because you have Swan beach and you have Corolla and you have Kitty Hawk and you can't just say we are outer banks. Um, or hashtag we are North Carolina. It's bigger than that. We're all having the, again this shared remarkable experience that we're going through. Some people are going through. Actually, many of many of us are going through such tough times. But it's really all of us have the choice to go through our lives through through this that which we are going through with dignity and grace, love, care, respect. And that's what I saw today. That's what I experienced yesterday coming to me and coming to our community. And I know you all have that. We see, we do see videos of people thanking healthcare workers with clapping or blowing the horn. A friend of mine, an international student that was here a few years ago who lives in Jordan sent me a video of the police and ambulances going through his city and Amman, Jordan with their sirens blaring just to thank and, and a salute and a tribute to healthcare workers. And so in just this little community on the Northern Outer Banks, we had a couple just decide to take it upon themselves to, to make pizzas for everybody. And I, it was really touching for me. And so I thought today, as I was thinking about these hashtags, maybe I'll just hashtag this video. We are our communities because we all have that choice to look at things like that as we go through these trying times, these uncertain times. That's all I have to share. And, and as I think about that hashtag, we are our communities. I think of many of you as part of this community. I know you do as well. Community is a, a lot more than the place you reside. I know a lot of you are attracted not to the Outer Banks, not just because of the views, but because of some of the folks here too, the culture of this area. And so um, we would love it if you would share some glimpses of your communities faring and coping with what's going on, maybe things that are unique to your community as I've shared something from this one. Hope you had a great weekend and hope you have a great week. And I don't know about you, I'm looking forward to some good news coming soon. Thank <laughs> you.